on June 13, 2018, my friend Kay and her flight instructor Bob invited me to fly with them over the eastern part of the San Francisco Peaks volcanic field in northern Arizona. While airborne, it struck me that the recent fissure eruptions of Kilauea on the Big Island of Hawaii are an excellent visual analog for some of the ancient eruptions that formed our Arizona landscape. Fissure eruptions begin with curtains of lava spewing from long cracks in the ground, rather than from the tops of volcanic peaks. Approximately 20,000 years ago, a fissure broke open near Merriam Crater that poured out so much lava it dammed the Little Colorado River and formed an elongated spatter cone called the Sproul. Looking out of the cockpit, we can imagine hot, fluid lava similar to that erupted by fissure number 8 in Kilauea pouring out over the Arizona landscape. We use levees and pressure ridges to follow the ancient lava flow six miles to the channel of the Little Colorado River. It would have looked much like the flow produced by Fisher 8 in Hawaii. A satellite view clearly shows where the Grand Falls flow blocked the Little Colorado, forcing it to carve a new channel. One lobe of the lava flow continued another 15 miles downstream. The tap and wash lava flow is less obvious from the air than the flow that formed Grand Falls. The latest dating by Karlstrom et al. pegs the tap and wash flow at 339 plus or minus 5,000 years old. It's been traced to a vent near Kendrick Peak, a staggering 55 miles to the southwest. This flow must have been extremely hot and fluid, perhaps even hotter than some of the recent flows at Kilauea which have been clocked at over 15 miles per hour. On the ground, the best place to see this lava flow is on the north side of the overpass where Highway 64 crosses Tappan Wash. Here the flow thickens considerably, producing columnar jointing. The basalt here contains striking amygdules. These are things formed where minerals have been deposited in the vesicles left, where bubbles were trapped in the cooling lava. The oldest fissure eruption we observed on our flight is dramatic not just from the air, but also from space. Previously considered more than 2 million years old, new work by Hansen and by Karlstrom et al. indicates that the Black Point lava flow is roughly 890,000 years old. The source of this flow has been buried by younger eruptions. The exposed part covers an area roughly double that of the recent fissure eruptions from Kilauea, and at the end includes a lava delta formed where the flow poured over the scarp on the southwestern side of the Little Colorado River. So what are the odds of future fissure eruptions in northern Arizona? Well, they're clearly not zero, although it may be tens of thousands of years before the next one of these things occurs. Hats off to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory for the excellent footage of the latest eruptive sequence on Kilauea that they've made available to all of us on the web. <laughs> <laughs>